Hello, my name is Modrim and today I want to show you a selection of 10 plus 1 top-down isometric RPGs that are worth looking forward to. Those games have either a confirmed release date or are very likely to release this year. You can find all titles in the description box. Number 1. Broken Roads is developed by Drop Bear Bites. This game is the debut title of this indie studio. It features beautiful hand-drawn maps in a post-apocalyptic setting set in Australia. You will be able to control a party of five with a blend of traditional and original RPG mechanics. The main feature that sets apart this game from the rest is the Moral Compass mechanic. A unique morality system influencing dialogue, quests, combat and character development. Broken Roads will feature a turn-based tactical combat system and is announced to offer 25 hours of playtime. The release of this game is set for 2022 with no announced specific date. Number 2. Dark Envoy is set in a sci-fi world shaken by the conflict between magic and technology. This game is developed by Event Horizon Limited and will feature 15 different biomes tied to multiple game mechanics. Combat is set in real time with the ability to slow down or stop time. You are also given the pleasure to pick one of 4 base classes as well as 16 specializations. Some of those will be hidden and need to be discovered through special side quests, so secrets are a main selling point of this game. Dark Envoy will further offer you more depth through the ability to mix skill trees, boost Boost individual abilities and take advantage of an expansive crafting system featuring research and enchantments. This world can be explored solo or in co-op and will not be a static experience with procedural generation. Your actions and choices will impact this world significantly resulting in the salvation or destruction of it. This game also does not have a specific release date but is targeted for 2022. Number 3 Baldur's Gate 3. This game has been in early access for quite some time now and Larian Studios has been very clearly listening to the community. They gave us amazing updates through 2021, though at a rather slow rate. Those updates include grittier graphics to accommodate the darker nature of Baldur's Gate, new classes like the Druid and Sorcerer, and the active role system to include spellcasts while the role is happening. The game is based around D&D 5e and tries to replicate the rule system as truthfully as possible, meaning the available classes will be tied to the handbook. On a multiplayer for up to 4 players, deep character customization, turn-based combat and choice-based outcomes in quests are all features available when the game launches. Though there is no confirmed specific release date yet, it is highly likely that the game will release in 2022. Number 4. Expeditions Rome. This game is developed by Logic Artists and is set around the end of the Roman Republic. The story spans a decade of time and portrays your rise through the ranks of a legion as a noble that fled Rome. Combat happens on a hex grid and allows you to command a party of five companions. The equipment of your characters as well as its class determines the spells and skills available in combat. Decisions play a large role in the game with seemingly small decisions having big impacts on the overall World story. But that's not all there is to it. You will have your own legion with a separate battle system surrounding it, camps you need to manage and expand, treat injuries, manage your loadouts and crafting is all tied to this. Expeditions Rome will only be available in single player and will release on the 20th of January 2022 in just a few days. Number 5. King Arthur's Knight's Tale. This game is built around the myth of King Arthur and Avalon, with a twist to make it interesting. You are Sir Mordred. Fallen in battle and resurrected in Avalon, you have to kill King Arthur again, or whatever has become of his dying vessel. The game will feature 6 base classes with 30 heroes that can be recruited to form unique parties. Heroes offer special skills and traits, as well as interactions with the players otherwise inaccessible, though you have to be rather strict with just a party of 4 members. Knight's Tale will feature a morality chart, a unique endgame after you finish the story and is rather harsh on your group with injuries, curses and diseases taking time to heal, forcing you into switching out party members for missions. Characters can permanently die, leave the party or even turn against you. The game can only be played in single player and is currently in early access with a full release scheduled for the March. 29th, 2022. Number 6. Broken Ranks. This game is developed by White Moon and is set in a gritty and dark medieval fantasy world. Now before I say more, I have to make you aware of a few things. Broken Ranked is a turn-based MMORPG. 
a free to play one at that. Given what we know based on the FHQ, it might be pay to win. The devs seem to be hiding something based on the wording. If you're not bothered by this and just want to explore this beautiful world, keep watching. If not, skip to the next game. Now combat is turn based. Just like you would expect from a JRPD despite the art style suggesting something akin to Baldur's Gate. Your party will consist of up to 5 players and you will have to team up to defeat tougher foes. Turns will take 10 seconds and you will need to balance your offenses and defenses during battle. Now how does progression work? Main quests, side quests, events and grinding. So the MMO staples. Though we might see a higher narrative quality here because of the focus on world building. The release is set for the 25th of January this year. Number 7. Alolov Champions of the Four Kingdoms. We are now officially entering the ARPG realm with this game. The studio developing Alolov is Gamera Interactive. The setting is a high fantasy world mirroring the middle ages. You will be able to play as a human, orc, elf or dwarf and fight for one of many clans. Players can also meet 12 different NPCs that can join you during your quests, depending on the alignment of your character. Now the combat system has a lot of tactical depth contrary to what you would expect from your usual hack and slash game. It plays more like a souls like in isometric form. Arms, gods and nature are the three ways of power available to you. Those can be chosen alongside your character's class and skills to build your character. Dodging, feigning and blocking are essential to your survival and the game is pretty hardcore. Alolov will be available as a single player experience or split screen co-op. One more feature that makes this game unique is split screen PvP. The planned release date for this game is 2022. Number 8. Lost Ark is developed by Smilegate RPG and released a few years ago in Korea. We are finally getting to play it on the 8th or 11th of February 2022 depending on if you bought the Founders Pack or not. The game will be free to play and combines MMORPG gameplay with ARPG combat. It will feature raids, dungeons, collectibles, PvP arenas, 15 classes at release, housing and much much more. Years and years of refining will bring you an engaging beautiful world to explore. And I would highly recommend trying this game for free with the use of a VPN on the Russian server. You can find a guide on how to do this on my channel, link down below. Number 9. Weird West is developed by Wolvai Studios and will play in a dark fantasy setting of the Wild West. Magic, fantastical creatures, shotguns, werewolves with shotguns? You name it, the game has it. What makes this all unique are 5 atypical heroes with intertwined destinies. Journey through the story with each of them moving from one character to the next until all converge in a final chapter. Each playthrough will be unique and tailored to the actions taken. Your decisions in the past adventures will influence and change your experiences in the next one. The game is set to release as a single player on the 31st of March 2022. Number 10. Achilles Legends Untold is a game centered around the greatest hero of Greek mythology, Achilles. We are sent on a quest to defeat Phobos, the son of the god of war, Ares. Our journey leads us through the mythological lands to obtain powerful artifacts that will aid us on our mission. In this game we are not going to defeat countless skeletons, no. We are going to battle smaller amounts of refined AI. It's a mix between traditional isometric ARPGs and Souls-like games, bringing us a challenging experience. Enemies will work together in unpredictable ways, adapt to our playstyle and change strategies accordingly. Forging and improving found equipment, a skill tree to unlock new skills and abilities and punching your fist through a chest will all make you stronger. The game will feature a single player and co-op experience, releasing its early access in the first quarter of 2022. I know it's not a full release, but I really wanted to showcase this amazing looking game. Bonus game 11 Core Punk. Core Punk is a weird one. It has seen a huge amount of delays, so I cannot recommend this one safely on this list, except when I do it as a bonus. This game is developed by Artificial Core and combines MOBA combat with MMORPG gameplay. The devs are working on an immersive open world with a plethora of professions, dungeons, raids, open world secrets, world bosses and much more. But it's not strictly just PvE, far from it. 
It's designed with PvP in mind. Fortresses, arena, instance battlegrounds are also in development. The game will feature fog of war mechanics in all areas, making ambushes in the open world a possibility. It is not a full loot PvP game and will feature opt-in PvP mechanics in certain parts of the world similar to World of Warcraft. Now, why wouldn't I bet on 2022? Because of past delays. There is no guarantee to see even a CBT at this point, but we might be surprised around the end of spring or start of summer. That's where the next update is scheduled to be released. Now I have much more games looking forward to in 2022, but I wanted to keep this one adherent to at least some kind of niche theme. My first and third person lineup for this year will get a separate video very soon. Now tell me, what games are you looking forward to in 2022? Write it down in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitch and see you next time. Bye.